the best way to predict your future is to create it yourself. But hey, 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day and 90% of those thoughts are the same as the day before. So day after day after day, you're doing the same things, the same things that lead to the same results. If you want to change your future, you got to change your mindset. How do you do that? That is what this video is all about. You can create your future, but hey, my dream is to travel the world, but how will I do it? My dream is to quit my job, but how will I do it? My dream is to earn or to be a millionaire or a billionaire. My dream is to be healthy and fit or lose 10 pounds, but how will I do it? Right? We have these dreams and it's like, but it's not for me, but others are doing it, but it's not for me, but others are succeeding, but it's not for me. Yes, it is for you. It is for you. If you know how to change your thoughts, if you know how to rewire your brain, if you understand the principle of diving into the unknown, because here's the thing, we don't want to dive in the unknown because the unknown is scary. The unknown means stepping outside of our comfort bubble, stepping into the unknown. How do you do that? If you came to this channel, it's because somehow you feel stuck. Somehow you're maybe in a job that is soul sucking and that's not fulfilling and you know something more meaningful is out there for you and you know there's something better out there for you but you just feel like but i've been doing this all of my life or i've been doing this for so many years and so this is the path i should follow and even if i would want something different it's not for me i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing results but here's the truth a lack of evidence is not the evidence of lack. The lack of proof that you're not a millionaire yet, that you're not having that dream life yet, does not mean that you cannot create it. This is what I do. And people come to me like, but Rachel, yes, of course, you're living the life of your dream, but it's not for me because I have a family to take care of or my situation is different. And all of these excuses, yes, there are excuses, you know, for not going for your dream, for not pursuing your dream. You can create your future and I'm going to tell you exactly how. And if you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe right here below. Hit that bell, that notification bell, so you don't miss any of my new videos every Wednesday. And please hit the like button and comment below. Your comments are so important to me. Maybe you have questions, maybe you have doubts, maybe you're like, sure, I get it, but not really. Maybe you want to talk to me, please do. I'll put the links in the description below so you can book a call with me and I can help you create that plan. If you want to get unstuck, I have a free gift for you. That's a training of seven steps to get unstuck. Lack of evidence does not mean that you cannot achieve that, that, that dream future that you don't see yet. And that's what's so unnatural for us human beings. It's like, I want to do it, but I'm not seeing the result. I need to see it and then I believe it. And what I'm asking you to do right now is believe it first and then achieve it. And this is not coming from me, okay? I'm following and reading and inspired by many amazing people like Bob Proctor and Joe Dispenza and um, oh my gosh, like, you know, Hell Errol and, and just so many people that inspire me and I learn from them and I learn from them, but I apply it as well. And then I teach my clients to apply it and I see amazing transformations. And this is exactly how I was in a corporate job that I really didn't feel fulfilling and I wanted much more freedom. And I have now created that future of the freedom of doing what I love, traveling the world and not having to have a boss to ask permission for everything I do. And that's exactly the transformation that I want for you. If, if whatever success means to you, whatever freedom means to you, you can really achieve it. Because here's something you really need to understand. We have about 60 to 70,000 thoughts in a day. And 90% of those thoughts are the exact same as the day before. This means that day after day after day, most of our thoughts are exactly the same. And day after day, month after month, year after year, we program ourselves with those similar thoughts. It's like a cycle. You wake up in the morning, 
you're programmed to go to the kitchen, grab a cup of coffee, then go to the bathroom and brush your teeth and then go behind your computer or go to the office and or go in your car. And it's like a cycle. It's like a routine and you're programmed that way. And so you see the image and that becomes the, the, the action. Here's the thing. The same thoughts always lead to the same choices. The same choices lead to the same behaviors. The same behaviors lead to the same experiences and the same experiences lead to the same emotions. And those emotions is what we go through day after day after day and that drives us to do the same thing day after day after day. So the moment you can start changing those emotions, all, all of our trillion cells in our body, they are listening to our thoughts. So it's changing the thoughts but you have to understand the principle of the connection between the body and the mind because it's not just changing your thoughts, it's changing your emotion. If you have this emotion of I feel stuck and that's, you know, it's not there for me and I feel hopeless and it just, it, the mind and body is so connected, you will stay stuck. The moment that you can start imagining the future and having the feelings with that, and here's the real truth of manifestation that a lot of people don't think, it's not just like, I want to earn 100,000K or just the thought of I want my soulmate or the thought of I want to live in another country or the, just those thoughts alone is not, is not everything. It's the feeling you associate with that. So if you can sit down and imagine, just close your eyes and imagine the future. And for me, it was like I'm, I'm on a beach and I'm traveling and I have a blue sky and the sun and, and, and I was feeling that joy and I was feeling that freedom and just that emotion that I added to that, all of that was really the switching, the switching key, the secret to, to really transform and pivot my life around. Understand that that place of the unknown is where you have to step into. The place of the scary unknown is where you start to create your map to the future. When you reprogram your brain, not as a map from the past, but as a map to the future, because we're so used to like, but no, I failed in that in the past. And so I'm going to fail again. No, I did that in the past and it didn't work out. So I'm going to, you know, I had a failed relationship, but it's going to fail again. Like we program our brain as a map from the past. I want you to start from a place of the unknown. Close your eyes. Imagine a future that is not known, but imagine it. Imagine your dream, make it real by adding the emotion. And once you do that, that's how manifestation works. And that's how you can open up your brain, your mind, your body towards that future. It's not there yet. There's no proof yet, but you can achieve it. And it's just opening yourself up to that emotion, to that thought and preparing your body, your mind and everything into that unknown future. That is how you create your future. So start mapping your brain, start rewiring those nerve cells and, and connections in your brain so that you can actually have the dream that you really love. It's possible. I'm doing it. My clients are doing it. So many people are doing it. Again, these are teachings from so many great people out there because the power of your mind, adding the emotion, the subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So the moment you start imagining your dream life, your subconscious picks it up and the more you repeat it and repeat it and repeat it, you reprogram your brain. And that's how you hack your brain. And that's the key and the secret to everything to achieve the life of your dreams. And, and it's like, I'm just thinking right now about, you know, genie and, and Aladdin, you know, and, and, and just rubbing the lamp and the genie comes out of it. What is your wish? You know, and you can ask the genie anything you wish for. And the genie is you. It's you creating your future. And yes, it's unknown, but you can create it. So I hope this really helps. Write down your thoughts below, write down your dreams below, because you can achieve the future that is not known because you can create it starting today. Comment below, what is your dream future? What small thoughts can you change to break that cycle and to not dive into the patterns of yesterday and the day before and the day before? Don't go to your past, but create your future today. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next Wednesday.